Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is David here from jailbreaky.com. Today, I'm going to show you guys a tweak that brings about the wave to answer feature of the Galaxy S5 to iOS. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, uh, now this week actually did exist a little while ago. It existed back on iOS 7 is when it first came out, and it did get updated for iOS 8. I felt like this tweak was a little bit neglected and not many people were covering it, as it really is a pretty good tweak. But anyway, all this lets you do is basically it brings about that uh, slide to answer feature from the Galaxy S5, that flagship feature. That bring It brings that over to iOS. It is super cool, uh, and it uses the iPhone's proximity sensor to do so. You can wave your hand over the iPhone's proximity sensor to answer a FaceTime call or uh, a phone call. So let's go ahead and go into these settings for this jailbreak tweak. So I'll go into settings, hands-free, and you guys can see it says hands-free too. Enabled, use speaker with headset connected we have, and then also detection algorithm, use latest logic beta. I'm not 100% sure what that option does, but we're going to keep that toggled on. And use speaker with headset connected. All that really means is that when the headset is connected, uh, it's still going to play out of the iPhone speakers as well. So it'll give you more useful information. It has a little bit about uh, you know the developer and what other tweaks the developer has made. So here we have uh, my mom's iPhone 6. So we're going to go ahead and uh, send myself a, uh, or not send myself, we're going to call myself as a uh, test. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I have that up on screen and we'll do that in just a second. So it should pop up. And when this does pop up, you you guys can see it'll give us uh, a little option to slide our hand to answer and then just answer the regular way. So it gives us the option to choose between, uh, you know, doing that. But I'm going to swipe up and change the brightness, it's, you know, make it a little bit easier to see. But anyway, as you guys can see, here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and call myself. So... It should uh, go ahead and there you go. So it says test would like to FaceTime. So it says active wave twice to answer or no wave once to answer. So uh, if we wave once to answer right now, uh, you know, you guys could see that it is somewhat buggy. But if you do wave it in the right direction, it should say connecting. And then as you guys can see, it connects and here we are. So I'm FaceTiming right now and you guys can see that it's working okay because there I am. And then if I go over... Here, I'm actually recording the, the, uh, the video right now on my iPad, which is actually really, really cool. So yeah, so there's uh, that's really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and hang up the FaceTime call right now. But anyway, that was uh, you know showing that. So now I'm going to go ahead and go over to the lock screen and show you guys what it looks like from there. So now instead of uh, actually doing it once, it's actually going to say, uh, it's going to say twice. So we're going to actually have to swipe our hand over twice in order to actually pick up the call. And like I said, this is kind of a hit or miss tweak. Sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, so you guys can see there we go uh, that happened from the lock screen and obviously this also works with uh, FaceTime audio as well as uh, actual phone calls as well so I'm just demoing it a couple of more times just you know showing you guys what this tweak can do so I think this is a really really cool tweak um, like I said I guess I could probably see the reason why this isn't covered so much just because this tweak is kind of buggy and it doesn't always work but it is a really really cool feature um, so yeah so definitely it's something you should check out if you're interested in uh, you know bringing about some you know features to iOS that the Galaxy had that iOS does not have so if you're interested in that you definitely will want this um, but anyway now I'm gonna go ahead and actually call myself and um, you know start a phone call so I'm gonna initiate a phone call and you should see it pop up on my device momentarily so go ahead and wait for that and there you go it says test mobile wave twice to answer so we're gonna go ahead and do that and as you guys can see it answers the phone call and it's a regular phone call like normal now I picked up on speaker but obviously you can tweak all those different things you can mute keypad FaceTime ad call whatever you want what do you guys think do you think that this could be useful or do you think it's just a gimmick let me know down in the comment area below all right guys thanks for watching that's it for this video. This is a tweet called Hands Free 2 for iOS 8. It's developed by Sam Ball. It's 99 cents and it's available on the Big Boss repo. I have a lot more awesome videos coming your way soon, so please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, follow me on Twitter to get notified about when I upload a new video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Catch you in the next one. This is David, signing out. Peace.
Thank you.